A preposition is a word that shows the relation like place, time, between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. Today, we are going to learn some more prepositions. The boat sailed smoothly on the river. So, which is the preposition in this sentence? On. So, the preposition on tells us where the boat is sailing. Let's take a look at the picture. As you can see that this is the boat and this is the river. Now, where is the boat? Is it in the river? No, it's not inside. But you can see that the boat is on the surface of the river. So, when we have to talk about things or somebody being on the surface, which preposition do we use? We use on. So, the boat sailed smoothly on the river. The boat sailed across the river. So, here the preposition is across. And we can see the boat is crossing from one side to the other. When we have to use the preposition across, we simply mean to cross over from one side to the other side. We can see it very clearly in this picture that the boat is crossing from one side to the other side. So, across is the preposition in this sentence. And there's something that you will notice that the word across has cross already here. So, it becomes easier for you to remember all the more because when you're going across means you're crossing over. The children are playing in the garden. Let's take a look at this picture. This is the picture of a garden and the children are playing here. So, can we say that the children are playing on the garden? Are they just on the surface? It is within a boundary. In a way, we can say that it is inside. So, we have used the preposition in to bring out the meaning clearly. A squirrel ran across the road. Which is the preposition in this sentence? Yes, it is across. As we have already learned, what does across mean? To cross over. We can see it very clearly how the squirrel is running from one end to the other. Or it is crossing over from one side to the other. Therefore, we have used the preposition across here. So, we cannot use the preposition on over here. Because on would just mean something at rest on the surface. But the moment we use across, we are talking about a movement from one side to the other side. Then only we can use this particular preposition. Now, if I say a squirrel ran in the road, our sentence would still be correct. But the meaning would not be as when we are using across. When we use across, we are specifying that the squirrel is moving from one side to the other side. But when we say the squirrel ran in the road, it is moving within the road. But it is not crossing over from one side to the other. So, we will use across in this sentence. Now, let's take another example. Rajiv ran across the road. If you see this picture, this is Rajiv, he is running across the road, which means that he is running from one side to the other side of the road. That is what exactly this preposition means, across, to cross over from one side to the other side. The bridge is across the river. Now, which is the preposition here? Across. Here we can see 
that there is a bridge. This is the bridge that we are talking about and here is the river. Now on this river we can see that this bridge stretches from one end to the other end. So people can cross over using this bridge. We can say that it is connecting one side to the other side. Hence we have used across the river over here. In the previous sentences we have noticed that a movement was involved from one side to the other but in this one can we see any movement? We cannot, right? But what do we mean when we are saying across? We are saying that it is connecting one side to the other side. That is another way of using across. There is a village across the river. The preposition in the sentence is across. Now let's check the picture out. This is the man standing and you will notice that he is standing on this side of the river. Here is the river. And on the other side of the river lies the village. So when we have to talk about something which is on the other side, what do we use? We use across. So there is a village across the river. Now when we say there is a village across the river, so whose point of view are we talking about? We are talking from this man's point of view. He is standing on this side of the river. Okay. And he can see that the village is on the other side of the river. Now if this man happened to be on the same side where the village was, can he use across? There is a village across the river then? No, it would not be the correct answer because the man and the village would both be on the same side. So he cannot use the preposition across. Cricket is a popular sport across the nation. So which is the preposition here? Again, across. Now we can see that this is the map of India. And we can see cricket, bat and ball in different parts of India. So what do we mean when we are using across? Do we mean there is a motion? Is it from one side to the other? No, over here we are still using the preposition across. But the meaning is different. When we say across the nation, we mean throughout the nation. So throughout India, we can see that cricket is a very popular sport. I came across this book in the library. Again, across is the preposition in this sentence. But can we see that the meaning of across is from one side to the other? No. Do we mean that across is connecting something? No. When we use across here, do we mean that it is throughout? No. We will notice that across has a completely different usage over here. Across over here means I came across this book. She found a book in the library. Now let's check if we have understood when to use across. Fill in the blank with the correct preposition. The library stands dash the street. The options are in, across. So what do you think will be the answer? Let's check it out. So this is the library we are talking about. And this is the street. But we can see that this boy is here. So this boy is on one side of the road. And it is from his point of view. He's standing over there and he can see that this library is on the other side of the road. 
So what do we use when we have to talk about something being on the other side? That's right. We use the preposition across. So, the library stands across the street. Today, we have learned different prepositions. We have learned in. It is used to show something within. When we say on, we mean something being on the surface. And across has many usage. So, the first time when we talked about across, what did we say? It is moving from one side to the other or crossing over. Another usage of a cross is it is connecting one side to the other side. Now it also means throughout. Another meaning of a cross is find when you find something. So we have learnt new prepositions today. There are many more that we will learn soon. The preposition across that you have learned today you can try using them in sentences of your own and see how many sentences you can make. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy. It's rewarding too. So register for free now.